Mr. Sedek, coming from Iran, a country which is more or less in the shadow of the Russian bear, I'm sure that you have a good idea of how the people of Iran feel towards the Russians and towards the Americans. Do you feel that the people of Iran are for the United States because the United States has been giving them foreign aid, or what is their situation at the present time? Well, the situation in present time, I can say, is very good. We had uh, real trouble in past. Real, I mean real trouble. We couldn't be free. We couldn't even every day up to night. We had trouble because we supposed that tomorrow morning we were going to be a part of Russia. And fortunately, because of uh, United States power, United States help, and United States uh, humanity, now we have a freedom to write, to speak, and to give out what we have in our inside. And uh, we believe if we hadn't this foreign aid from United States, now we were part of Russia. And this is why most of us, I can tell you, perhaps 95% of our people, they are in love with the United States people. They believe them not because they help us by dollar, but because they help us by humanity, because they made our freedom, because uh, they, they spend their money and their humanity for 20 million people in our country, and we are free now because of them.
Dr. Hess, in looking over the program here for the Southwestern Industrial Radioisotope Conference, I see a lot of words in there that don't mean a whole lot to me. For instance, radioisotopes. Could you define that for us, please? Yes, sir. I'll try to. I think our best definition is that a radioisotope is the atom of a particular element, such as iron, nickel, or cobalt, that emits or throws off particles, such as beta particles or uh, gamma rays. And with the measuring of the particles that are thrown off are the effects of the bombardment. Industry, as well as agriculture and medicine, are able to use these radioisotopes to great advantage. This conference is being held out at SMU starting next Monday on radioisotopes. Will that be of interest only to a few industrial leaders who are interested in nuclear energy? No, well, sir. I think it will have wide-scale uh, interest. For example, the radioisotope field is only 10 years old in that that recently, we've begun to use the materials extensively. It's estimated by the Atomic Energy Commission that already industry saves itself hundreds of millions of dollars a year by using radioisotopes. So we'll find interest by all of industry leaders, agricultural people, and medicine people just in the fact that they may be able to save themselves money in their own particular business. Uh, doctor, giving a, an example, how would radioisotopes help me as an individual sometime within the next 10 years? Well, you as an individual might find uh, use of it in the field of medicine. Right now, radioisotopes are being used as a cure or corrective measure to cancer. It's also being used to trace, for example, fertilizers. When they're given off to foods, we can radiate some of the potassium, for example, and then trace where the particular elements of the fertilizer reach the various plant cells. Another use that you may see is the preservation of food. Uh, we may see someday the refrigeration process uh, completely replaced by irradiating the food by radioisotopes and preserving it without refrigeration.